Hi everyone, this is a quick demo to show you how easy it is to do nonlinear contact with friction in some solid. Okay, this is a model of a, of a hanger beam, and you can see that I'm constraining it up here on the ends and I'm loading it down there. Uh, the first time I solved it, I just did everything simple bonded contact. So if you look at my displacements, it, you know, I pull it down here, bends like that. Uh, here's a, a close-up of the uh, displacement here, and you can see that everything's perfectly bonded. And here's my stresses. The stresses are all taken by the back of this beam. Okay, let's try to solve it again, but this time let's go back and solve it using separating contact. What I want to do is I want to add separating contact between the hanger beam here and these, this beam, these beams here. So let me just pick that. Let's say I want to uh, review the, uh, the part connections. Uh, that section there and this section here are the places I want to make it uh, separate in contact. So I'll just say edit the contact condition for my structural analysis too. I'll make it separate in contact and I specify a friction coefficient. Okay, um, that's all I got to do. So now I have a separate in contact there. If you look in my, uh, my contact conditions, I've actually got two more right there on this lower portion of support and the one over here. So I've got it in two places uh, separate in contact. So let's, let's run that and see how that affects the, uh, the model. Okay, it runs, you know, again, we don't mesh, but it runs four passes, and now I'm solving the nonlinear contact. It should be pretty quick. There we go. So here is our, uh, our uh, stress detail for, the, uh, for the, first, the first analysis, and here is the stress detail for the second analysis. You know, if you look up here, you'll see that um, you know, the, we do have this part just starting to separate there. You can see now, as opposed to having all the stress in the beam, it's now being carried by those bolts. Let's take off that top. You can see it a little bit, a little bit clearer. There is the completely bonded uh, contact analysis. And here is when the one with the uh, separating contact. So we have this, uh, we see the, the stress is now, you know, being carried by the bolts. Let's do it one more time. Let's copy this down. Uh, and this time let's add a little bolt preload here because we want to, we don't want to course it to separate there. We want to pull that together. So uh, it's pretty easy to do. I just go and say bolt, I pick the bolt tightening. I zoom up here. Uh, let's pick this bolt, this bolt, there and there. Uh, specify the thread pitch. Uh, let's do a target axial load of about 3,000 newtons. Okay, and you can see that it's uh, bolt tightening specified the little icon there. Now we can run that third one. Again, this time we're going to run uh, static analysis with nonlinear contact uh, in these areas we specified. And also we're having bolt tightening, uh, pre-tensioning the bolts. So it's, again, it's just solving the nonlinear contact problem right now. Should be done in just a minute. Okay, so there is a deformation detail with the fully bonded case. There is the same thing with the separating contact. And here it was with back to uh, the bolt pretension. You see this was pulled down there. And we can also look at the stress detail here. Again, there it was the fully, that's the fully uh, bonded. There's with separating contact stresses. And here is with the, the stress in the, the bolt pretension. And taking again this off, we can uh, view it just just by the bolts alone. Um, all bonded, separating contact, and pretension of bolts. You can see we now have got the nice stress distribution being carried by the bolts. 
That's how we do separating contact with friction in sense solid. Thanks for watching.